means that private colleges are up nearly 6%, but government assistance to students has not adjusted to compensate for the hikes. Flip Spice and is standing by with a check of the forecast. Flip. Should be a little bit warmer today, but we have some clouds moving into the area, and there's even an outside chance that we could see some rain move in, but I think that holds off until tomorrow. Here is your seven-day outlook. High today near 60. Yesterday, 56 was all the better we could do. Won't be nearly as cold tomorrow morning, but the rain moves in tomorrow, and Friday looks like a rainy day. Good evening, I'm Karen Kaufman with the 11 Alive News. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a late breaking story from down here in downtown Atlanta Live. Police report that two, possibly three convicts have escaped from the Fulton County Jail this morning. Authorities believe the convicts have stolen a car and have driven east towards downtown Atlanta. Channel 11 News has just received an anonymous tip that the convicts were spotted at a local BP station not too far from here at North Avenue and Spring Street, and they're possibly heading towards the Georgia Tech campus. Police say that the men are armed and are extremely dangerous. So they're advising that anyone in the area of the Georgia Tech campus lock their doors, stay inside, and be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Please stay tuned to 11 Alive News for all of the up-to-minute information. And now back to you. DeKalb County Police are investigating yet another officer-involved shooting. This time it wasn't committed by one of their own, but federal agents. They killed a fugitive from Florida who was wanted on several charges. 11 Alive's Elaine Reyes has been working this story since it happened early this morning, and she joins us live from the scene with the latest. Elaine? And clearance investigators cleared the scene here within the past hour. We have learned... Looking for a better natural gas rate plan? You're getting warmer. Gas South offers low rates on an easy to read bill, a website that doesn't intimidate, and friendly call center operators who can actually help you. Visit gassouth.com and get comfortable with Gas South. This is Karen Kaufman with 11 Alive News coming to you again with a live update with our late breaking story. The group of men who escaped from the Fulton County Jail this morning have been spotted. Uh, approaching the Georgia Tech East Campus dorms. Reports say that there is a college haunted house happening in the area right now. The Fulton County Police described these men as armed and extremely dangerous. Convicted of killing five teenagers only a year ago in what was referred to as the dormitory slaughter. Investigators believe they might have a vendetta against college age teenagers. Officials are strongly urging those in the East Side Georgia Tech campus to suspend all activities and return to a safe location as police are quickly moving to cardin off the area. Again, please stay tuned to Channel 11 News for up to minute information as this story develops. Now back to you. A career criminal accused of murdering a bicyclist on the Silver Comet, Comet Trail. Once the charges against him thrown out, today a judge told him no. And on top of that, the DA says he's about to tell the man whether he will face the death penalty. 11 Alive's John Shearick has more from Paulding County. In court, the murder suspect Michael Ledford sat quietly. Three months to the...
Uh-uh. <laughs>